This is January 2017 and we've come to Basingstoke in Hampshire to visit the very successful lofts of Paul Stowell. Good morning Paul. Good morning Keith. How long have you been in the sporting boy? Uh, 57 years. You're joking, they look older. Yeah, well there you are. <laughs> so what's the circumstances of you starting up? Um, schoolmates who lived in the same road had pigeons. Um, particularly drawn to a white pigeon he had and started from there really. Can you remember your first winner? Yeah, I can, I topped the Solent Fed from um, Guernsey. So that was quite a good start really. Yeah. So you've had some good performances through the years but most of your performances and you're noted really for your Jan Arden and your Bricko pigeons aren't you? Yeah, that's true, yeah. So well, where they originate from? Well the Brickos come from uh, Mr and Mrs Jim and Jean Jones of Fleet in Hampshire and the Jan Ardens, some were uh, obtained at the clearance sale of Conipius, yeah. and the others came from McElboyk in Hoogerhide in Holland. Yeah. Are they current in ones? Um, McElboyk yeah. is, is still, but he's more breeding than racing these days. Yeah. So what do you look for when you bring a pigeon in, stock pigeon? Well, everything really. I mean, how it handles, the look of the pigeon, something that catches my eye, but I do in particular look for the eye. Yeah. I look for a good breeding eye. Yeah. What are you into? Are you into long distance or short distance? Um, all distances, but um, I do like the long distance. But I have a prefer. I prefer distances that are sort of up to say times really. Yeah. Well, one day races, if possible, or just over one day races. The beautiful pigeon, Paul. What's this one? Um, this is uh, Noel Pren from Belgium and Holland. It's his breed. Um, mm. Long distance blood, but it was uh, first fed in the last um, young bird race from Kingsdown. This year? Nice. Yeah, 97 mile. Yeah, absolutely fantastic. Yeah. Long distance pigeon winning short distance. Yes, yeah. yeah. How, was, how was it sent? Um, it wasn't paired or anything, it was just, it was just, well, wasn't yeah. even chasing anything really. Is it, is it darkness baby? It is a darkness baby, all my youngsters yeah, were a yeah, darkness. It's a beautiful pigeon, isn't it? It is, yeah. This is Paul's beautiful double-decker loft. It's brick and it's self-built. It's 20 foot long. And the stock birds are at a nice aviary on the right hand side. All the stock birds are kept in the bottom tier and the racers are all kept at the top. Absolutely beautiful setup. This is the scene inside Paul's stock loft. And the birds go outside to a lovely aviary. This is the scene inside Paul's racing section and this houses the cops in the winter. Right Paul, let's talk about your performances now. You've won quite a few good prizes through the years. How many times you won the combine? Uh, I've won the combine seven times, the Berkshire Fed 39 times and um, I've won British Barcelona Club from Bordeaux. Absolutely fantastic. One of your best pigeons was Magic Moment, wasn't she? Yeah, I think so because um, she was just a racing machine. Yeah. Um, seven first, um, six seconds, won the Fed three times, won the Combine twice. Absolutely phenomenal. What breed was she? She was Conipius Jan Arden. Yeah, fantastic pigeon. Yeah. What was your uh, British Barcelona Club winner? That was Emma Louise. That yeah. was a bit of Brico and a bit of um, Conipius yeah. in it. Was she a natural pigeon? She was natural, yeah. Seven year old when she won it too. Yeah, where's that from Bordeaux? Bordeaux, yeah. How far is that? Uh, four three seven. Yeah. So you, you so, so you like long distance best? Yes, I, I I like long distance, but I like to win any race. But yeah, um, yeah I like the channel and and Bergerac, Bordeaux and Tarbes yeah. distance. What system do you race your pigeons on? All on natural. Yeah. So you tell us a bit about your system. When do you pair up? Um, I don't pair up early. I never pair up before the middle of February. Um, sometimes early March. Um, it, 
I do take the odd youngster out of some of the pairs, but in general, all my youngsters are bred out my stockbirds. Yeah. So what uh, training you do? Um, I train quite hard. Um, I will train them up to sort of 30 miles, and I will train virtually every day apart from Friday. Yeah. So what, what sort of racing do you do then? Do you send them in a club to get them right and then have a go at the next? That's right, yeah. Crazy. I put them in the club um, and try and get them fit and then I, I put them into the into the Berkshire Fed races mm. and then in classic or national. What's your favourite uh, best condition then for long distance? I, th I think eggs, sort of 10, 14 days really. I find that's been best. Although I have had some good performances with um, the first young bird of the season um, on the longest race, you know, it used to be 520 miles from Dax. Yeah. So what, what's your preparation for the longest race then, for a um, pigeon? I, li I like to get them inland if I can, if, if it's a pigeon, experienced pigeon, then I will um, keep it inland and probably not put it over the water until the, the main race I want it for. Yeah. Reasoning being that if it takes a knock, Inland, you get them hopefully next day, but mm. over the water, if they're missing for a week or something, can mess them up. How about feeding? Um, I feed, um, mo well, all my corn I get from Banford's, and I tend to feed the equivalent of Jerry Plus, and then as, as the distance gets more, um, I will build them up with a bit more with fats and, and a bit of a heavier mix, racer mix. Jim Blue Pie, what's this one, Paul? Um, this is from um, a fancier in Belgium called Luke Van Koppel, who's won the international from distance. It's distance pigeon again. It was on darkness and it was second fed in the last um, young bird race in Kingsdown. Yeah, another top fed pigeon. Yes, <laughs> I had three of them land together, so pick which one actually won the fed. But you took the first three in the fed. I took the first three in the fed, yeah. Yeah, yeah very pleased about that. Well, Paul, I must congratulate you on your loft. It's absolutely magnificent. Tell us all about it. Thank you very much, Keith. Um, I did have a double-decker loft here um, before, um, mm. but um, decided to replace it because the top was um, a timber loft and it kept rotting. So yeah. in the end, we built this cavity construction and that was built in 1990. Yeah. And um, it was very successful from the start because the year after I built it, um, Magic Moments was in her prime and she won the combine twice in the space of a month. Yeah. So, you, obviously it's self-built. You, um, was you in the building, trade? Um, yeah, but I mean, when you say self-built, I mean, I designed it, but um, I had a team of bricklayers in yeah. to build it because I had to put all the birds in the garage in their nest boxes yeah. and it was quite a game cleaning them out and feeding them every night. So. Um, yeah, it was about three weeks before we could get them in the loft. Yeah, I know you've got grilled floors. You like the grilled floors? I have, yeah, grilled floors. Um, clean out underneath the grills every week. This is a smashing hen. What's this one, Paul? This is uh, m and Evans, van der Beely. Um, she was third fed in the last race in Kingsdown, and she was six club the week before. Yeah, so, race so, you, on so you've got one or two van der Beelys? I have, yeah. Um, not bred out of them so much the last few years because I've got other stoppers I wanted to um, yeah. get the team together. So this is this is one of the good ones? Yeah, this is this is a good one. Yeah, it's been a good pigeon so far. This is one of my uh, best Brico stockbirds. Uh, comes down from Jimmy Jean Jones of Fleet. Um, Breeds some nice youngsters and has been very successful. His father was a Scarlet Pimpernel, which is my, well, was my best pigeon, but he's now 18 year old. Do I have a look at him, Steve? Yeah, I'd love to. That's a lovely pigeon. If it breeds that type of pigeon, I'm sure that they they, they would all fly a good distance. Yes. How many young birds do you breed each season in, Paul? Um, between 50 and 60. Um, yeah. How far do you race those? I, I race them, the, the young bird programme really. Um, some of them I try and put in the classic in nationals, but yeah. um, I don't mind. I don't mind sending young birds as far as I can, yeah. but as yearlings, I usually keep them inland, and then two-year-olds, they go further. Yeah. Do you do the darkness? I do the darkness, yeah, all the time. So yeah. where, when do you put them on and take them off? Um, well, I don't pair up very early, so I put them on sort of probably sort of, well, April time, and then they come off in, in June. Yeah. This this last year, 
I did leave them on longer and I was worried it might affect them but as I took the first three in the fed on mm. the last race I was quite happy about that. So how about training the eight babies? Um, training, I do train them a lot. Um, I give them a lot of short tosses, and I mean short, just a few miles, get a bit of confidence into them. And then when they do hit other birds, I find that they, they do work back quite well. Yeah. What about feeding? Feeding um, young birds, um, again, I feed them probably Jerry Plus to start with, um, nothing too heavy. Um, and. Um, I, I don't sort of vary their feed too much. No. I mean, the distance they're flying, I don't need anything else really. So really you're looking for them yearlings onwards? I, I am really, yeah, yeah. Although I enjoy young bird racing, I must admit. What a fantastic pigeon this is, Paul. What's this one? This is McElboy Jan Arden cock. Um, and he, he does breed some lovely youngsters, I must admit. He's, he's my main sort of, well, one of the main stock pairs now. Well, Paul, you do a lot of work in this sport. What's one or two of your jobs? Um, I was secretary of the local club for a couple of years, but now I'm just the treasurer, um, and I'm the president of the Berkshire Federation. Yeah. How do you think the sport's going at the moment? Um, well, not not for, not going that well, really. What with uh, birds of prey and everything else, um, we have a lot of problems. But um, yeah. unfortunately, it's a declining sport, yeah. but it's still a good sport. Got some problems around here with the old spare oaks, haven't you? Yeah, we do get problems around here. Um, you have to be very watchful when you've got the birds out, especially in the early part of the season. All the leaves grow on the tree and then they seem to ease off a bit when the birds are nesting, yeah, yeah. birds of prey are nesting. Well, Paul, I must say, mate, thank you very much for having me around today. It's been a great pleasure to see you. Wonderful loft. That's very kind of you, Keith, and thank you very much for coming down. And um, I'll take those two pigeons out of your pocket you put in there. <laughs>